Welcome to my crib. Welcome to my cave. I said, listen, my name is Abe. You know, it's time to come back to my cave. It's not really a cave because it's giving luxury. This is where all the people have money. Sorry, guys. I actually think that I'm a rapper sometimes. And I don't know why. So, you know what song's been stuck in my head a lot? Have you ever loved somebody so much it makes you cry whatever i don't know the words but that song really gives depression like codependency like do you have a relationship with the lord because why are you so obsessed with this person hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing the living room tour in this video i'm going to be talking about all of the pieces and where i got them from if you follow me on instagram then you know that this video is long awaited because so many of you have asked me where i've gotten certain pieces from and i was just really excited to do this video so i could finally answer all of your questions the first piece we're going to be talking about today is our sectional for our whole living room we were trying to go for a light neutral airy vibe and i wanted to play with a lot of creams whites it's like the perfect blend between ivory and cream the actual color that we got it in was called oat and it's from Interior Define. I love Interior Define because it allowed us to customize quite a bit. We we're able to go a little bit deeper with our cushions, make it wider, make the chaise a little bit longer. Oh, and we were also able to choose what color we wanted the legs of the couch to be. So we went with the matte black. We have a lot of matte black accents in our living room and I just feel like it fits so perfectly. The couch is really just such a big statement piece because it takes up so much of our living room. I'm still deciding on if I want to add decor cushions. I kind of go back and forth between what I want to put there and what colors I want. So I haven't fully finished the sectional in terms of decoration yet, but we'll see. The second item I want to talk about today is our coffee table, which is right behind me. I love the coffee table. We actually got the coffee table from our house. I really wanted a wood coffee table because it really just brings warmth to the space and wood just does such a good job of warming up any space you put it in. It has a lot of grains of black and even some of like the white creams in there if you look close enough. When it first came in, I was a little weary because it's so big and I was like, oh my goodness, this is really swallowing our living room. But I was like, okay, we don't plan on being here forever. When we end up in a bigger home, our living room is going to be bigger, so the coffee table is just going to be perfect there. I will list everything in the description box below so you guys know exactly what piece we got. The third item I want to talk to you guys about today is our TV stand. Our TV stand is from Ikea. It's actually the Ikea Besta unit. It's really affordable. It's actually the cheapest item in our living room, but it looks so good. And I got the idea off Pinterest, another home decor blogger. They actually detailed how they achieved this look. And I feel like it really just ended up perfectly. So we actually have two units together. Um, this is one unit and then the back is another unit and we just put it together so it looks like one big unit and it's, it's perfect. The other item I want to talk to you guys about is our TV. We got the Samsung frame TV and the reason why I really wanted this TV is because TVs are just eyesores usually. Like when it's off it's just this big black rectangle. For this TV you're able to choose different art pieces and display in your room and I always display this one because it fits everything. The only thing I will say about it is we ended up doing a 65 inch TV and I just felt like it, it's just too big. We didn't need something that big but I think once again once we move to a bigger space and we mount it to the wall it will be perfect for the future and it still looks good here. So I just also love it because you also have a choice between if you wanna mount it on the wall or if you wanna like stand it up on its two feet. You also have an option to customize the frame of the TV. So if you want like a dark wood or a light wood or if you want black, it's awesome. The next item that's up is our accent chair. I don't have much to say about it because we actually just walked into living spaces one day. That's where we got it. And it was in like the last chance to buy section. It was the only one of its kind and I loved it so much and I was like, let's get it. It's perfect. Even though it did have the cream color that I was looking for, the sides of the chair were so different. It has the black, but it also has that like mesh kind of thing going on on both sides of the chair and wrapping around to almost the back where it's almost touching in the back 
but I just love that and I felt like it was different and it's really low it's a lower chair and it's very comfy so we ended up getting it if I do find a link to it then I will definitely include it in the description box below we shall see if I find it but I hope I find it for you guys if you guys like it then the other thing is our rug our rug is actually from Overstock, and it's also the Safavia collection, I'm pretty sure. And it's such a comfy rug. It's really soft, like you can sit on it, you can lay on it. I literally love sitting on it, and I plan on recording literally all my videos with me sitting down on it because it's so comfy. And I just like sitting on the floor, it's just most comfortable to me. So I was trying to be different here. Typically, because I'm so simple, I would have just got one solid color, and it would have just been this cream color but I didn't. I kind of regret it. It still fits the living room, but it's like, dang, I really just wish I just stuck to what I know. The diamond is just not my style. I think trying to be different is cool and everything, but for me, I just know I'm so simplistic. So I just love this rug in terms of quality. Um, I do wish I went for a more solid color, but if you guys like it, I will definitely link it below if I can find it as well. Our curtains, our curtains are from Ikea and they are the Lenda curtains. I love these curtains because they come with the ties. It just gives this just elegant look. I really love these curtains. They just came out perfectly and it really just softens the room. Like if it's really bright during the day and you just want to like have it be more calm because we have really big windows in our living room. I find that these curtains are just perfect because it just creates a softness to the living room if I decide to let it all down. We wanted to take the curtains a little bit higher and we weren't able to just because there wasn't a stud. It was ghetto. It still is perfect. When I googled like, oh, uh, curtains sleeping the floor, it said that it gives the room a romantic look. And I really love that because I was like, this does give me romance. It's giving moody. It's giving emotional. And I really love that because you know, I just love a, a nice, cozy, romantic space. And then in that back corner over there, we have our lamp from Target. We have a plant that we just got from a nursery and the pot is from Crate and Barrel. And then we have the Avenue C table. I actually remember that what that was called and it's our side table or end table um, for our sectional. And it actually is just a matte black color and I just liked the cool shape of it. I haven't fully decorated that. And I haven't fully decorated our coffee table as well, but I do plan on doing that. We just haven't gotten around to it, but I'm excited to do an update video for you guys when I um, add in the last few pieces of accents that I wanna add. Um, I really wanna add uh, matte black frames over the sectional um, of just like family portraits and pictures. And I believe that once I do that, I'll be completely finished in this living room, so I'm excited. Oh, actually, one last thing, I do want to change out the mirror that we have in the side. It just doesn't go. We've had this for like over two years now, um, but I really want to get a black lined mirror and I would love for it to be like an arch and I feel like that would be really perfect in that corner. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. In the comment section below what your favorite piece was in this living room. I really want to see if we have any similarities, if there's anything you would do differently, all of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.